Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter's only 18? Just like me? Oh, so she's... I think somebody said that yes, uh, last week. Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. Charged with attempted murder twice, or actual murder twice. Not Nothing attempted about it. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, Pearly. Hey. Oh, hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick. Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough to without her help. Dude! It's really disheartening as the player that Phoenix has to be like, I can't do anything without my dead chief's ghost. You've won, what, two cases without her? At least two. Two big cases. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Oh, God. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. God. Phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's tri This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Oh. Phoenix got me there. Mmm. Mmm. Phoenix, Phoenix got me. I did not think about that at all. Shows you how shows you how callous I would have been. Yeah, sit in the audience. I'm about to out your mother, but you know whatever. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of you, your defeated face, will be transmitted all over the world. Oh God. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish. You foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. At the age of 13. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Oh, I didn't realize this is going to be your first trial. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Kahn. <laughs> Glad to see you in such a good spirits today, Miss Faye. Um, uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Uh, <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's sessions. That the defendants could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? <sighs> dun dun dun! Mr. Wright, I to if I told you once, I tell you a thousand times, do not enter my courtroom without your suit jacket on. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm sorry. 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 Just a little behind today. But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am 
I'm saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's Aunt Morgan Faye to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia, she seems really torn by this. Witness, name, and occupation. My name is Morgan Faye, and I'm a spirit medium in a matter of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a matter of speaking? Ah, I don't think anyone really cares. <laughs> now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. S spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes, that is. Oh, mm -hmm. You, be quiet. Oh my god. I don't think Manfred was ever this abusive to the judge. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? Then here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Fey, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. You mean it wasn't already upped to its maximum? Seriously, how much tea could she possibly have in that cup? After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door, opened and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other... Please, lady, please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. Isn't there something of legal presence of not actually being in possession of one's body in murder case as with the identity disorder? I don't know of any, I don't know of like any specific precedent. I know I've heard of such things before. And we're trying to determine if we're talking about possession, is it more of an insanity defense like a branch of insanity because you weren't in con it's it's like I wasn't in control of my body right um versus outright saying someone else possessed my body which might not necessarily fly that's right she is simply correcting a falsity mr phoenix right why is she making it a point to take a stab at me never mind you are her opposing counsel counsel mr rat your cross examination please <clears throat> My aunt is a very smart and sly person. Person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Shut up. Just now you said, those two. Who are the two people you're referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lana's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. That's the whole pot calling the kettle black thing, right? I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Fay? Well, he might have been executed, we're not sure. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? 
there's a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm. Yes, that is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... There is another... Sky. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Th then, Baker. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good, sir, and the camera, and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Man, her hair's even worse from behind. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught a snapping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Rat? Miss Faye, please continue. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It's very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she... Ugh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Y yes, very well. I'm trying to think the judge just likes it. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however. Yes. You are physically larger and stronger than the defendants. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time the defendant was not physically Maya Fey? Ugh. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy witness, elaborate on that point for us. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. Dude, you just restated the car. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key, the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes, that is exactly what we should- Ah! Be quiet, you! Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She- she went to speak with someone. Who- who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Oh god. Okay. Witness, name and occupation. 
Um, okay, so my name is like any money. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Then I suggest you get good, judge. Y yes, sir. <laughs> Now then, Miss Miney, after the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, like I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. This is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Y yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake and for your body's su structural support sake. Like when the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like a little later, someone came into the room, like really suddenly. Whoa! <laughs> that face she's making! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like hadn't seen her in like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Okay, that's the end of the, what she tell you? Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, your honor, Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi My Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is witness. Like, yeah. In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course! Miss Miney, please. <laughs> My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was... No accident. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? Why would this ever satisfy a judge? This is hearsay. This is actually inadmissible hearsay. <laughs> so there, there, is a, there are hearsay exceptions. I don't believe this person testifying to the murderer saying that she murdered somebody would fall under one of the exceptions. I still can't believe it. I can't believe I'm allowing this hearsay to run my court. But alas, I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium for revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Mr. Rat? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This, this test me just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Question mark? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. 
but even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will real reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertain this one more entertaining than last. Was that because of your um sesame allergy, was it? Like that's right. I like think there were sesame seeds like in the lunch they served that day. I had this like premonition that it was going to be totally it was <laughs> going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. D Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Do you know the time? Um, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when the someone came into your room? Oh, so like that's what you meant. Like you should have been more like clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like it's really... Question mark? That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? Uh, so like, what was I talking about again? Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> Witness about this person who entered the side room. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess. Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister and all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm, but more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, are you fucking... Shut up, judge. Just shut the fuck up. I can't believe the judge let that... It's just like... Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied by that answer she asked in the question about your sister? I don't know why you would, she would know anything about your sister either. The defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how do you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? <laughs> but wouldn't most people react here with surprise at, at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know, like, about the occult. But I, like, know all about the grain channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. <sighs> Should I drop this line of questioning? No. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But, ow! Don't keep badgering her! You know the phrase, objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm. Mr. Wright, this, uh, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right, Mr. Wright, Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. <sighs> so there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was like weird. Hmm. Hmm. Maya's talking to herself like she found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? Something terrible? What was this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget about it already? 
A foolish fool with a foolish C for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. I know there has to be something here, but where? She really put a lot of thought into this line, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up, but don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. I wasn't, like, scared at all, and, like, her costume looked totally normal. You mean except for the whole it had blood on it thing? Objection! That was a very well spun lie, Miss Eni. What? What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? That's Attorney Phoenix Wright to you. It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Yeah, you're my fucking mentor. Of course I'm stealing your lines. That's what happens when you teach someone something. Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. Oh, no. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would like to, I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. How do you miss that? Miss Mighty, why do you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um, um. Order, order, Miss Mighty, what is the meaning of this? Miss Money. Oh my god, she opened her eyes. I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that. Ah. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I, uh. That witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of, lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. <laughs> First of all, calm yourself, witness. Num, 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 num. Like, I'm sorry, I like didn't mean to snap. The Now hurry up with the testimony, if you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. So like the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I like persuaded my sister it wasn't like right to do something like that. And then like I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm. Yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. It wasn't a good reason, but you gave us a reason, I suppose. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? Fuck no. All right, I guess not. <laughs> Very well, you may question the witness. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court, witness. Like, that's right. Uh, fuck, I am a witness. But how was my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like, okay. Oh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. The judge makes that decision, not the fucking attorney. Whatever. Why am I bothering? You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. Woo! But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi Spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. Holy. 
your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking a revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And like Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know. May I ask you one more thing, Miss Mining? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place, huh? Like, what do you, when do you mean? When, um, when you, it's one of these two. This doesn't matter. Talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Rat, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? I actually don't know. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Mane, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on that on the way. Hmm. I guess this is really, this really is a dead end. Something you finally pull out of, out of witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. It's no good. I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in a statement, you'll end the trial, I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Alright, so it's, uh, wasn't Pearl there? Objection. Yep. You say that you didn't see anyone on the way to the challenge chamber. However, that is impossible. Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Faye's daughter, Pearl Faye. Interesting, you have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? Man, she tugs at that thing. Which means anyone walking through the area would have had to have seen her. So, Miss Miney, what do you have to say to that? Oh my god. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at the time. You honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous. It's not preposterous and I can prove it. What sort of foolish? There's no way someone walking along the winding way could have not noticed Pearl. The, there's no way someone walking along the winding way could not have noticed Pearl. It's because of the, this. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot? What is that going to prove? You know why it's cracked. It's because Pearl broke it. That's why. She broke the urn. Yow. Why? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah! And Pearl was the one who put it back together and while sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? <laughs> Miss Miney. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar. Ah! Mr. Rat, you need to watch what you say. I mean, kind of, but she has totally been impeached at this point. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. That is one resilient hat? Yeah, right? It's probably really tasty, too. About what? About what? 
about where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The, the way that's just testified about that. That's right. I was like sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? No. Your lies end here. What do you? The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. I say that's not possible because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction. Where is this contradiction? I think it's her testimony. Early in your testimony, Miss Mine, you made the following statement. And like Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So? What does that like have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how do you know that fact? H how? I concede that Miss Fay was the only person in the channeling chamber. We'll stipulate to that fact. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by way of the winding way. Gah! But look at the ma the mana god map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor, which is why. Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off the baseless assumption, if you please. It's not a baseless assumption at this point. Well, I suppose since you put it out on the table, Mr. Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Mr. Gray, Dr. Gray was any Miney. So now is the time to prove- Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? Miss Mighty was here, of course. But, what? But, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Mighty was at the scene of the crime. Order, order, order. That's why that is. Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony establishes that only the victim and the defendants were in the channeling chamber in the chamber when the channeling started Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself. Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Amy Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I I was hiding Where like where was I hiding? Here of course B behind the folding screen ah don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out from behind that phone screen. See, you stupid jerk. Oh my God. Look how many holes are in her hat. She does look just like her sister. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. Now, now Miss Miney, one so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if you know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. Oh my. I don't know what it was, but there was something kind of hot about that look she had <laughs> twirling her hat. I'm just like, oh. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. That's a face. Mood for real. Miss Miney. How are you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime? It's very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! That, that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been it's disproved. A lot of it has proved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um, you probably have to say that. Quirk doesn't know that. But that clothing box is in the side room, right? Which means it had nothing to do with the murder at all. That, that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box is there in the side room the whole time. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can with some evidence. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box is at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. 
Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. Is it there's any sort of evidence in that old thing? This what on earth? Ugh. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the end of the shooting, the clothing box is sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Ugh! Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Oh, never mind. Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That is exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey, she had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No, stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the, clo moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime... It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you, the foolish received no mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? You can't be serious! <sighs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. Ugh, this person! If it wasn't someone from Turin Village, you wouldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have to use that box to use. Morgan Fey! Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? Ugh, you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand, dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig. She pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was not... It was actually not yet dead. But with the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. This is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady had thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is something you wouldn't expect to hear, which is why upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Frostman death scream. I can't even do that. I've... <laughs> Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood and pretended to be Maya Fey. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder.
<laughs> Who is that laughing at a time like this? Oh, you simple minded fools. I'm sorry, you still by chance evolving. What is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is? Is this witness, if this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act, what reason would she have had to have done such foolish things? Uh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eating Mighty want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that is exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. Uh, motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What's the reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one had proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want me to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile stupid gramps. I'm like going to explain. So like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like wanted revenge, then like I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides, like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? Back to her airhead persona. Pathetic Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The defense plan is overly complicated. She has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Faye to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. Tis, tis so many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Should really learn your place. What happened? I thought I had her for sure. See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well, I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right, you can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Yeah, yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix, everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray, and it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Mine had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Yes, I can. I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. Haha, <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Oh. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? You're supposed to be on my side. Ah! Avon Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as I, as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. Feel free to throw her out of your way. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a sec. Fuck! <laughs> 